Ladies and gentle gamers, welcome back to To Be Determined. Today I spent over 250 million coins on Blaze Daggers. We upgraded them to tier 3, put some nice enchants on them, the whole 9 yards. So if you guys end up enjoying today's video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. Without further ado, let's jump into it. There's another mana disintegrator. So again, this one will go ahead and put on the wand of atonement. So we've got eight more to get on that one and four more to get on the power orb. So we need 12 in total. But we only have two more bosses to go for blaze level six. And once we get to that, we are going to go ahead and craft our T3 daggers. Smoldering blaze level 12. Okay, blaze level six. Two strength, both T3 dagger recipes, alert flare recipe, and blaze tech ham radio recipe. Let's go ahead and claim that XP. 100 Skyblock XP. Whole level right here. Boom. All right. Level 369. 56% to 370 GG. We now have these T3 dagger recipes. So let's go ahead and throw some money at it. I've already set up the buy orders so two stacks of molten powder eight gold magma fish we actually need 32 vertexes so i'm gonna have to buy 32 vert another 16 vertexes but 16 is 100 mil which is a little expensive um we do also need 16 sulfur cubes that leaves us with 265 mil i'm uh, getting closer and closer to broke i won't lie but let's do it the cold fused pyro chaos dagger so this is a 30 damage increase and 10 bonus attack speed a little bit of other stuff but mainly that damage increase what matters as well as this right here deal 2x damage to blazes 1.5x damage to pigmen right now it's 1.5 to blazes and 1.2 to pigmen so this is a major upgrade and it's very expensive boom and then the Modredge. It is now the Death Ripper. Same upgrades, but 3.5x damage to blazes, two times damage to skeletons versus 2.5 to blazes and 1.5 to skeletons. So this is going to be pretty huge. But the bigger part is these do go in museum. There we go. So we can go ahead and grab these from back here. Power Chaos, Death Ripper, and we can claim the XP. 20 Skywick XP for that puts us 76% to level 370. So damage wise, I was doing about 700,000 after using the grapple shot with the tier two of the Death Ripper. So hopefully I would think we get at least 900K, at least 1.4 million dude that's like double what that is broken okay i mean 100 mil i would hope it would be worth it but literally double damage that is insane what look at that dude that's crazy totally worth it all right time to spend even more money let's go so uh, we'll take half we are going to unlock the gemstone slots here. So opal gemstone slot, huh, we'll go ahead and get perfect. Why not? Same thing for this one. Opal, perfect, boom. Now let's see, we can unlock the combat slot. What do we get though? I don't think we get a perfect Jasper. Could do a fine Jasper. I think we do a, or a flawless Jasper. Let's do that. Flawless Jasper, nice. And then on this one, one, Lawless Jasper, done. Not too shabby. That should help out with our damage a little bit and with our true defense. But we're back down to 216 million. There's another Mana Disintegrator. That one will go on our wand as well. There's three on the wand. Can't believe I didn't think to put Swarm on the daggers, but we're doing it now. Slash Hex Ultimate Enchantment Swarm 5 is only 12 mil. Okay, boom. And then Swarm 5 on the other one as well. Voila. Very nice. That should increase our damage by a bit. Let's see. I am in Reaper Mask and I'm doing about the same damage as I did with the Warden Helmet. Okay. How about this? Oh yeah, that's literally like 400k increase. That actually is worth it. 2 million damage there is what we hit. Okay, yeah. This should help us out a lot. All right, we're also going to make another slight investment. Sharpness 6 on these would be pretty nice. It's only 2 mil. Definitely worth it. There we go. So that's sharp 6 on this one. And we'll get sharp 6 on this one as well. Another mana disintegrator. That one will once again be going on the wand. 
That's four out of 10 now. Very nice. Another mana disintegrator. We take those. That one again will be going on the wand. Voila, five out of 10. And there's another mana disintegrator. Again, going on the wand. That's six. Another mana disintegrator, which we are going to put once again right here on the wand of atonement. That is seven out of 10 on there now. Very nice. Thank for sure level 11, GG. Another mana disintegrator, once again, to be used on the wand. So that is eight out of 10 now. Macho level 10, Smoldering Blaze level 13. All right, we have enough essence to get another upgrade. We can get strength essence four, boom. That puts us 88% to level 370. We do have enough essence from doing dungeon runs and stuff to get under pressure level five. So we're gonna take that. That is max under pressure and it puts us 95% to level 370. Yay, Recombobulator, you'll love to see it. I'm not sure what this one's gonna go on, honestly. I should put it on an accessory because that's what I do. I need the Skyblock XP, but I'm also kind of tempted to put it on something like some dungeon equipment that I'm gonna be using for like ever. <laughs> All right, well, in the middle of recording that clip, my, uh, my mic cut out. So I applied it to our adaptive belt. I went ahead and applied strength into it, five-starred it, recommed it. So our next recoms are gonna go back towards accessories and everything like normal. But I do wanna go ahead and start working on this piece as well as some other pieces once we get the other dungeon pieces because we'll be taking these to m7 these will be our dungeon equipment until like the rest of the game so i want to be upgrading these master stars are going to be put on these but not yet we'll wait until we get the rest of the pieces but as we drop master stars they'll be going towards this lost adventurer 23 gg run 570 nothing re-rolled into recom at least we got a recom tonight you know it's a little bit of skywick xp just enough to make me a little bit annoyed we're gonna recom the eternal hoof boom eternal hoof is now purple yay that goes there and that gets us 1242 magical power and it actually does get us to level 370 that's actually perfect i thought i was gonna get us 99 percent but there it is 370 gg all right we just maxed watchers with 25 levels and 10,000 kills we still got a ways to go with obby defenders and same with the boss mobs dragons and install protectors other than that though we've just got endermites and the voidling mobs and then we'll be done with the end all right guys i hope you enjoyed if you did remember to leave a like subscribe if you haven't already we are on our way to 9,000 subs so if you can help us out with that i'd really appreciate it also if you enjoyed the music in the background i wrote that myself there's links in the description i do have a second youtube channel for the music and it's at less than 100 subs so if you guys could subscribe to that i'd really appreciate it but again thanks so much for watching to the end and i'll see you guys in the next one have a great day and god bless